Praying Mantids. This is one of the silliest, most oddly affecting insects you will ever make friends with. It is also one of the insect world's great ambush predators. Lying patiently, in wait for its victims, looking for all the world like the soul of religious contemplation, the mantis can suddenly attack with lightning speed and grab its victim in a saw-like clamp. It consumes its prey alive and then delicately grooms and cleans itself. Aggressive and gluttonous, it can eat massive quantities of insects, including beetles, caterpillars, and grasshoppers. Some even attempt to attack small frogs, lizards, and birds. It will also eat beneficial insects like bees and others of its own kind, which is one of its chief drawbacks. The female praying mantis constructs an uthaca, that is, she lays her eggs while secreting a foamy substance that hardens into a little protective case. Inside this case, which overwinters, attached to a twig or a piece of bark, 50 to 400 eggs lie cushioned within the air bubbles. In Europe, women used to collect these cases under a full moon to use them for toothaches or chillblains. In Africa, it was even believed they could bring the dead to life. If you get the praying mantis egg cases through the mail, attach them on low-growing twigs in the fall. It can be a lot of fun to watch them hatch, but the event is easy to miss. The young insects, looking like fairy ghosts, emerge in the spring when it turns warm and disappear right into the vegetation. If you do happen to see them hatch, you can then protect them by keeping the predators away until the air hardens their skin. Ironically, most fall prey when they first hatch to ants, lizards, and other predators, themselves included. You can put the egg case in a paper bag secured with a paper clip. Place it in a sunny spot on a windowsill, but don't let it get too hot. Check it daily to see if there are any hatching. It could take up to eight weeks. As soon as they start to emerge, take them outside and let them go.